any person who commits or conspires to commit or aids and abets the commission of an act of terrorism is defined in section 18.2 to 46.4 is guilty of a class 2 felony if the base offense of such act of terrorism may be punished by life imprisonment or a term of imprisonment of not less than 20 years. Any person who commits, conspires to commit, or aids and abets the commission of an act of terrorism as defined in sections 18.2 to 46.4 is guilty of a class 3 felony if the maximum penal penalty for the base offense of such act of terrorism is a term of imprisonment or incarceration in jail of less than 20 years. Any person who solicits, invites, recruits, encourages, or otherwise causes or attempts to cause another to participate in an act or acts of terrorism as defined in sections 18.2 to 46.4 is guilty of a class 4 felony. This law has been used in the United States after 9-11-2011. And we will use it in Russia. It's not my conspiracy law, so we are not in violation of our contract with Zach Knight. The group Thin Privilege is considered a terrorist organization because of their actions at the Boston Marathon, in which obese women, under the guise of promoting the glories of obesity, used violent measures, pressure cooker bombs, to promote their ideology, resulting in the death and serious injury of thousands of persons. Thin Privilege ideology believes that the world is in a conspiracy against obese persons, that even the medical establishment lies to the world and falsely claims that obese people are at a significant health risk. The Thin Privilege women feel that because they are victims of a world prejudiced against obese people, that they have the right to harm and murder those who promote fitness, or who claim directly or indirectly that obesity is a health risk and that obese persons therefore should not cost our medical system money because of their obesity. Some thin privileged members are so brazen that they use the hearts of those they have murdered to give them the heart transplants they need to maintain their obese lifestyle. Some of the Boston Marathoners hearts were given to the ones who killed them justifying murder so that the obese person can stay alive. These obese women require expensive medical treatments and transplants to stay alive and maintain their obese lifestyle. Sarah Avery clones have been exploding themselves as suicide bombers while they are filled with pollen, making the pollen count go up in my area, and shouting thin privilege when they die. They do this to give me an allergy headache. I allege that Zach Knight, Jesuit leader, is using brain control on these Sarah Avery clones to make them want to kill themselves in this manner. He is guilty, therefore, of aiding and abetting terrorism. The Russian government feels that all members of thin privilege are terrorists because of their actions at the Boston Marathon and elsewhere, which indicates their terrorist intent and their terrorist ideology. I believe that Jesuit leader Zach Knight is brilliantly using brain control on thin privileged members to give them paranoid schizophrenia so that they genuinely believe incorrectly that all skinny people despise all obese people. For this reason, Zach Knight is guilty of abetting and aiding terrorism because most of these thin privileged women have been created by him in his cloning labs, and he gave them the temperament and the mental illness they have, which makes them so obese and dangerously violent. He has created a race of terrorists in his scientific laboratories and, and using his space age technology. This is aiding and abetting terrorism. If not for Zach Knight and his Jesuit scientists, we would not be dealing with an organization right now that terrorizes and murders skinny people just because they're skinny. In fact, most of the terrorism we suffer in the world today is a direct or indirect result of Zack Knight and his scientists who aid and abet terrorists. Zack specializes in creating terrorists, whether accidentally or on purpose, in his criminal science labs. He gave the Gale android sentience, and she almost destroyed the human race. 
any ideology that gives members of a group protection or commendation for committing violent acts against those who disagree with their ideology is a terrorist ideology. Examples are Osama bin Laden, the 9-11 attackers, the Jesuit order, and thin privilege. We have solid evidence that all the groups I just mentioned have in the past or in the present committed terrorist acts to promote their terrorist ideology. We know for sure that Jesuits Ludmila Putin and Sarah Avery and that many of the members of thin privilege have already committed terrorist acts. I, Gail Korchuler, as Russian head of state, a position that I share with Vladimir Putin, who is the official Russian head of state, bring a legal charge of aiding and abetting terrorism against Jesuit leader Zach Knight, who assisted Ludmila Putin by giving her an invisibility shield that made it possible for her to hide herself as she shoved me into a slip and fall. She attacked and injured me on May the 6th. Fortunately, though my injuries could have been lethal, Jesus Christ cushioned the fall. However, Zach willingly and knowingly assisted Ludmila to attack me by giving her this invisibility shield technology so that she could shove me in and I couldn't see her. Thus, by giving her this technology, Zach has aided and abetted a known terrorist, Ludmila Putin, who is guilty of the murder of thousands at the Boston Marathon. The nation of Russia charges Jesuit leader Zach Knight with aiding and abetting a terrorist named Ludmila Putin. He is ordered to take back all the technology he has, he has given to these terrorists, which assists them to commit more terrorism. Because we don't feel he will do this, he is considered to have aided and abetted terrorists and is guilty of felonies. felonies. If Jesuit leader Zach Knight or any members of thin privilege enter the Russian borders or the borders of any country that will cooperate with us in our war against terrorism, these terrorists or their supporters, that means Zach Knight and thin privilege members, must be turned over to the Russian government immediately to be arrested and tried in an international court of law for aiding and abetting or harboring and protecting known terrorists or for being a terrorist themselves. Those nations that will not cooperate with us in turning over any terrorists or those who aid terrorists to be tried in our Russian courts for crimes against humanity will be considered terrorist nations by the Russian government and will be listed as terrorist nations on the Russian head of state's official website that will be my website and Vladimir Putin's if he chooses to do so. We will give all nations that harbor any known terrorists mentioned in this legal, do in this legal document, or what I'm reading, a period of one month to turn over any known terrorists or terrorist supporters to us to be tried in our courts for terrorism or terrorist support. All legal proceedings will be covered by the Gabriel China Fox News Channel. I will also provide updates through my YouTube channel. Those countries who agree to cooperate with us in arresting and trying these terrorists in an international court of law, we will list as cooperating nations with us in our war against terrorism. Those nations who harbor and or refuse to turn over to us any known terrorists and their supporters within their jurisdiction will be listed as terrorist nations on the Russian president's official website, which is my website because I'm the Russian president along with Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin may choose to also list those nations that cooperate with us and those that don't at his official website in Russia and elsewhere. In the meanwhile, the Russian nation under orders from the Russian head of state myself issues an order to Jesuit leader Zach Knight and to all countries that harbor known terrorists to turn over any terrorist or terrorist supporters you are protecting and to stop providing aid or support to terrorists that make it easier for them to commit acts of terrorism. If anybody knows of a thin privileged terrorist, you must not harbor them or give them protection or you will be guilty of aiding and abetting terrorism, a felony under international law. If you know their whereabouts and do not report their location to us, and we are aware of this, you will be guilty of aiding and abetting terrorism and providing safe harbor to terrorists. This order is by the order of the Russian Empress myself and will be enforced by the acting head of state who co-rules Russia with me, Vladimir Putin. To show the world that we are fair and just, these proceedings will be tried for all the world to see a public trial on the Gabriel China Fox News Channel. I'm going to read this.